Hello and thank you for joining us once again on African Free Press Television to discuss Nigeria in a very special way. And this time around, uh, it's, it's going to be politics anyway, but not the usual politics. It's more of a, a, a thing you would be interested to hear uh, to discuss if actually the Igbos should have as an Igbo outside of uh, uh, the Igbo set in the, the southeast. And with me to take on this um, beautiful issue and very creative, actually, is Mr. Joseph Obinaho, is a renowned businessman. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, and it's it's actually very interesting, you know, coming to see uh, uh, a, a question of, say, an Igbo man or uh, uh, Ndibu having an Eze or an institution of such outside of the Southeast where they are. What's your take on that? Uh, my take on it is very simple. Uh, there is something we call freedom in the world, especially in the Nigerian constitution. And uh, freedom should not be curtailed as far as yeah, it's lawful. We have the right to live any, in any part of the country we call Nigeria, and it is called One Nigeria oh, okay. so far. Meaning whenever our, wherever we find our people as organized people, yeah. they should have an association yeah. in their way. Yeah. So far it is lawful, and it does not harm the culture of the other That's people. Or the, or the so-called host communities. Yeah. What do I mean by culture? The sum total of the way of the people's way of life. Yeah. And we have the right to live our own way of life. We have to manifest our culture as far as it does not lead to killing or destruction of other people's property. Yeah. Now, the issue of SND in Akure is in order. All over the world, even abroad. Because that's the trending thing now. That's the trend. Yeah. That we started building houses with the bamboo or raffia does not mean we cannot change to what is obtainable now in the modern world. Yeah. I know there is a, a thing is island on Debo. Yeah. But wherever we find ourselves, we organize our, peop our people, and the name we call our leader is Eze, Eze Ndibo. Yeah. And there is no uniform name to call a traditional ruler in Igbo land. Like we have the Obi of Yonicha. Yeah. It's not called Eze. We have Igwes yeah. in Igbo land. And in this kind of situation, wherever we find our people, be it in the market or anything, or in any community, they organize themselves in order to promote themselves. The day of Akure, trying to ban SND is not in order. One, he does not have such powers. He goes to the market, he collects tax. The local government goes and collects tax. The state government goes there and collects tax. And the deji, on his own whims and caprices, closes the market at any period of time he wants. Okay. Now the SND will challenge him. You cannot continue doing this and continue receiving taxes, even inflating it more than it used to be. You're keeping our people in perpetual poverty. That is the gruesome of the matter. And when these people play their tribal card, we know it. Those are tribal codes. Why does he lose sleep in what the name we call our leader? We look, he said we should call him president or anything. Okay, translate the word president in Igbo language. It means Onishiala, head of state. That's what it means. We cannot be head of state in another man's land. He's our leader. He's not the leader of the Yorubas. He's not the leader of Akure. It is just the, our leader as an Igbo. Yeah. And you should respect that freedom, which we choose to manifest in that way. We are not owing him anything. We are not indebted to him. He's not even supposed to summon the and Igbo in his palace. Not talk of beating him. It is an assault of a citizen on another citizen, which is a criminal act. Actually, it's, it's, it's quite interesting looking at it from that perspective because mm -hmm. we've had uh, one or two cases like uh, the time, uh, Fashola, this might be a different thing, a, a different angle anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, Fashola tried to send out uh, uh, Ndibu from, mm -hmm. from Lagos State. Mm -hmm. We obviously, he apologized the other day mm -hmm. at, uh, uh, during his, mm -hmm. his screening. Now, mm -hmm. looking at it from that perspective, um, you begin to think, is it more of a uh, trying to play a uh, tribal card, like you said, mm -hmm. or just try to maintain order, because if, if we do researches and go deep, mm -hmm. we, just like you said, we might find out that, okay, these guys uh, over there in Akure, they already have, like you say, at this particular time, mm -hmm. they close the market. Mm -hmm. And it's it's been the tradition. So w what is now uh, the, 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 the main problem of uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Eze Ndibu mm -hmm. there? The, yeah, the, for, the, for him to mm, the, the the closing of the market by the the Deju of Akure yeah. at his whims and caprices yeah. is not tradition. These are vices. It should not be condoned. Oh, you close the market as tradition. You come and collect the money from exploit them. That's extortion 
by tradition. The state government comes and they stop money from these people by tradition. The local government comes and does their bid by tradition. Our people are tired. We are being strangled and we are suffocating. What is he talking about? It doesn't hold well. Okay, take a look at the Fashala incident in Lagos. He was Fashala didn't go out trying to deport Ndibo. But Ndibo, who we are living under the bridges, yeah. according to him, we are caught in the crossfire of sanitizing Lagos. Those places has to be cleared up. Yeah. He did not go about and saying I would deport because he doesn't have powers to do that. Yeah. And if he was guided by conscience at that moment that ah, and deporting a lot of Ndibo back to the east, he wouldn't have been apologizing. Yes. Erufa in Abuja did the same thing by, you know, clearing the slums and everything. And even more Ndibo uh, living in those places illegally and they found themselves at the crossfire of what Erufa was doing. You don't come and play the victim in this case. Yeah. First of all, at the heat of that is effort, deported some people from Ondo State equally, from Ogun State equally, yeah. not Ndibo. Yeah. Yeah. Though we yeah. shut them the loudest. Yeah. But in this case, this was, this case of Jeji of Akure is pinpointedly Against Ndibo. And you don't do that as far as we are living in this period of time of our life. You don't do that. The Hausa community, even in Onitia, has their own. What is wrong? Each time we come out to do something, they are all they are all up in arms. When we contest the election in Ondo State, for example, it is like they will burn our houses and destroy our businesses. But in Onitia, the Hausa community contests this election for the local government. The Yoruba community contests this election. We don't burn anybody's house. We don't kill people. I don't understand how me, being an SND, will make or give the Deji a sleepless night. It is about Ndimo. It's not about Yoruba people. It's not about Akure people. I am the head of our community. And our people, in our own constitution, we choose to call you SND. Yeah. Because it's about Igbo community. It is very, very important for us. All over the world, you will see the Jewish community. They have their rabbi who is in charge of their community. Americans living in uh, Nigeria, they have their own community. And they choose to call it by a word in their language. Nobody disrupts them. Even disabled people in Abuja has their own community. And they call it Emir of disabled people. Nobody goes there to harass them. If you think you are the Deji, and if you think we, who has our SND as our leader, lives in pomp and pageant. Go to the police and report that this guy is having a criminal activity that gives him money. And this, so far nothing like that has been Nothing done. like that has he has not reported to any police. He's just giving edicts and issuing decrees that nobody should wear any crown in Akure except him. And what does he think where does he think he is? We are talking of one Nigeria. Imagine in River State where you have the oil that the, if the OB of or or the Eze of River State wants to go to the market, he can close the oil industry because he's the essay at his wounds. Or if somebody should die, he does not have such powers. We are living in one Nigeria. And you cannot have it two ways. You don't want us in your community. You look at us as the strangers in, your, in our own country again. When we say we want to be Afra, you are up in arms against us. Where do you want us to turn to? We say we love one Nigeria, we want to be in Nigeria. We have to manifest ourselves the way God has made us. Not criminally. But lawfully, you are still against it. Where do we go? Where, how do we turn? And you can't tell us, you can't force us to give our leaders the word president because it's a dirty word yeah. in Igbo politics. Presidents are associated with corruption. Governors are associated with corruption in Igbo politics. And that is it. You can take it or you can leave it alone. But that is it. We want to call our, our leaders as in Igbo. And we call ourselves Oha. That's the people. And I don't know why the Deji is losing sleep. We are not trying to be the Deji of Akure or the Oba of Undo State. Let him have it. Let him live his life the way he wants it. And we will live our own life the way God has created us. And then I guess uh, the only issue here is uh, that he is issuing decrees and then wants uh, maybe uh, the Ezeni over mm -hmm. there to subject himself. Uh, not even subject. He said he, he, said he cancelled. He has cancelled anything as a institution that we are not headless. He has cancelled the institution of as a in Akure, and he does not have such powers. All of them, the as a the the Deji subscribes their power from the governor, the executive governor. He does not have the right to make laws. He does not have the powers to enforce it. 
I mean, they, they, except he uses talk, which is illegal. Oh, supposing I go to Akure now and I'm wearing a crown, police, police will not arrest me. Nobody will call You don't dictate what people should wear. We live in a free society. It's not a monarchical society. This is one Nigeria, meaning that every tribe, every culture should be accommodated in this large space we call Nigeria. Yeah, very well. If you ju if you've just joined us, we've been discussing Nigerian African Free Press Television, and this time we're taking on uh, another interesting issue, quite political anyway. And someone I, I know very well uh, told me one day that Nigeria is such an interesting country that he wakes up every morning with a news, a new news to take him through the day. We've been looking at a little bit of a fracas going on uh, in Akure, where the the JG of uh, Akure wants to. To, to cancel out the institution of Eze Ndibo in, o, over there. And with me in the studio, we've been discussing that with a, a, a very renowned businessman, Mr. Joseph Obina. Now, going forward, we, we have this problem now on the ground, but we must move forward, we must get past it. Mm -hmm. We either solve it mm -hmm. or something else happens. Mm -hmm. So what is the way forward, like going forward? What do you see happening? What's the advice you can you, you throw out there to those involved uh, those uh, in Akure, say the Indibo, and then the Deji himself. Okay. The governor, Mimiko, the governor Mimiko of yeah. Ondo State has caught the two uh, contending or rivals, you would say. One was assaulted, which was the Indibo mm -hmm. in his palace. And the, the bully was called, and the, the governor tried to make peace between them. And the other man, I mean the Deji now, continued to issue threats continue to issue degrees, banning and banishing the SND Is somebody trying to flaunt his ego? One, you could go, you should go to court. Or, like his hell bent, you could declare war and unleash the youth to start killing Igbos and start destroying their properties. That is the way he wants to go. But we are capable of defending ourselves. We have Yoruba communities in our domain too. I will not call it domain, in our own territory. But let it be whatever it is. We have Yoruba communities working in oil industries, civil servants, federal, and they belong to societies. We have Avenifere, OPC in our own domain. And we don't go there to involve ourselves in what they do. They are law-abiding people just like we are in their place. We are contributing more to their economy. We have been law-abiding. We live our life the way that God said we should live it. This is our culture. This is our way of life. We are not killing the Yoruba people in you know, the state. It has never happened. Our SND has no criminal record in that place. It has never happened. We have tendered every the governor, the government of the state recognizes us. We have been there for more than 30 years having SND or 50 even. And nothing has happened. As he just waked up and because of ego, he wants to ban the SND or having us not to have kings. We have another motive, I would say. One, he wants to start control. Before, in the beginning, he said he wants to Im impose who will become the SND. Later, he backpedaled out and said he wants to abolish the SND. He has no powers to do that. It is our own community. We have the freedom of association. The only way for peace is to do what the Constitution says. People have the right of association, have the right to, of freedom. You cannot tell anybody's freedom, especially if it is under the law. It's a peaceful gathering, it's a lawful gathering. You cannot curtail it. You cannot stop it. You cannot abolish it. All right. Uh, we, we very, it's, it's quite interesting, actually. But we, we hope nothing uh, out of the ordinary comes out of this. We, we hope it's settled peacefully. We hope uh, at the end of the day, we don't get to hear someone, is, someone died or someone was killed or someone was instigated against another. I think uh, the Deji is trying to incite people against him. No, we hope he, he doesn't come to No, he, he's going to that because he would have listened to the governor. Because yeah. there is no way we will stop yeah, our think, people gathering. the best way is mm. uh, to have uh, the yeah, executive God. governor of, um, mm. uh, well, to come in way in. No, he has weighed in and the Deji refused and, and issued further decrees. No, he, I think in order to humiliate. 
He has to come in. Though. Okay. He has to come in because mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. when the government comes mm -hmm. in, uh, from the state governments, it mm -hmm. will now uh, go up to the federal government, obviously, where you have a, a higher institution taking mm -hmm. up the matter. I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for joining us once again. You've been watching this. This is African Fruit Break TV, and we've been discussing Africa from a refreshing perspective. This time around, uh, we've been talking about Eze Ndibu uh, in Akure, the institution. Uh, try uh, being uh, and then battled institution in Akure where the AG of uh, Akure wants to, to, to cancel it. Anyway, uh, we've been discussing this, but I, I won't fail to, to thank my uh, guest on the show today, Mr. Joseph Obinaho, is a, a businessman. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Please do visit our website at www.africanfreepress.com. Follow us on Twitter at African Free Press and like our Facebook page at African Free Press. I remain Leo Oketa. See you next time.